One of the things that Keystone's done is they put a lot of money into the testing environment of what's going on with this floor that we have. There's really three distinct layers that we'll talk about and we'll keep it basic, but essentially underneath our laminate floor here, we have this, which is all one piece, mind you, not in pieces, but one piece fit for the actual unit itself. And you'll notice that there are three distinct layers. The top layer is a layer that actually the laminate goes over the top of and it has the same screw retention as wood. That allows us to put in our sides and anything else that's coming in like walls and so on and so forth into the unit down tight so it's not going to obviously fall apart. The second thing that's really great about that is a lot of people think outside the box in their RVs today and what they may want to do is add uh, maybe a desk or a, a new uh, storage facility that they can add for clothes or whatever and they can actually screw into that to hold things in place. It's the middle layer that I'm pointing at right now. We like to call this the inorganic layer I like to use. I don't like to use sponge. I don't like to use styrofoam because they imply weakness. This two inch inorganic barrier, because of what our scientists have found, is that it will not break down over 10 years. And then finally, this part on the back is a wicking agent type part of the floor. Also, you see a little sub layer of it underneath where any water that would come in from the sides or anywhere is going to be wicked out so it doesn't go into the heated underbelly. 